Now it's time for a trip to Cornwall, but there'll be no surfing today, Adrian Richardson, okay? Now, Rosie, I've been to Cornwall and had a surf there. It's not Australian surf, but it's pretty good. It's about the best hey, you got there, isn't it? It's really quite good, okay? And I am going to show you what we fuel ourselves on. We're out there surfing full of scones. Okay. Sometimes sweet ones, sometimes savoury ones, and the savoury is what I'm going to do today. So I've got two and a quarter cups of wholemeal flour here. Now, I did say not I'm going to do a savoury. Not two and a half cups, not two, two cups. Two and a quarter, two, two and, and a quarter. quarter. We've got to get this right. Yeah. So the great thing about wholemeal is it still has all that lovely wheat bran on, which means it's a bit more fibrous, which means it's going to fill you up a little bit longer, which is exactly what we want. So through the sieve we go. While I'm doing this, we obviously need a bit of lift with our scone, OK? So we've got a bit of baking powder and baking soda. That's the one. Yep, yep, that's it. And you want to, if you're not using self-raising flour, you want to make sure that you do sieve it and you do have a generous amount of baking powder and baking soda right there and we want to pop the wheat bran in there in we go got that with yep. that one now with the savory you'll notice that sometimes with the scone you can add raisins and things like that today i'm actually going to put a little bit of cayenne pepper Ooh, in there like as well you can put chives in there as well if you want to so thank you very part. much what we'll do is just whisk that one together. So we've got all our dry ingredients. So now I want about 100 grams of butter, and of course you're on butter, Judy. So we're going to be using our fingers here. You can use a food processor, but with a scone, I would prefer not to get rid of that aeration a little bit. So we want to make sure that we um, barely touch it when it all comes together. So it's 106 grams there. Oh, just perfect. A little, just a little touch over. That's perfect. So I just want one egg cracked in here as well, and you want to just lightly go with your fingers. I was just going to. Crack it over the top of your fingers. Now. I'm going to resist fine. the temptation to just make a mess, and there we go. Scones is really it. one of those things. I say you've got to oh, oh, got stick to the gotcha. recipe, but you really don't. And then the other question here is: Is it scone or is it scone? Now, actually, because I'm from the southwest, we're supposed to have a, a little bit of kind of a, of a posher way, and we should say scone. But I said scone, so maybe I don't know. Maybe it's I did grow up up north. Scone. That's what it is. A scone. There we go. So I've got a bit of buttermilk there as well. Would you like me to pour yeah, that all over your fingers as well? Pour that over there, there. that's fine. Or oh, the whole lot of it? Yeah. So how much buttermilk you got there? So we've got one cup of buttermilk nice. there. Oh, that's feeling delightful. I like that. It's nice, lovely. <laughs> it's it's like, it's quite like right. mushy there. Rosie's Cornish Play-Doh. <laughs> that's it. So you want to keep some extra flour just on hand as well, just to add a little bit more in there. Sprinkle, there we go. And that's it. And you'll notice I have a bit of cheddar cheese. Now, you doing the savoury cream tea is your time to shine down in Cornwall mm. to show off your best cheddar cheese or your Cornish yarg, which is actually our traditional cheese, but we wrap it in nettle leaf. So oh, I've nice. got some sharp cheddar cheese in there. So if you want to just that pour in that in there, that's perfect. Now, Cornwall's also famous for clotted cream as well. That's where they put on their sweet scones with the jam and it's clotted delightful. cream. It's beautiful. So what I want you to do is just put a little bit of flour on there. Dust the board there. Dust the board. There we go. Nice. And you're using uh, wholemeal flour again? Just wholemeal flour, exactly. So, so you're going to pop, pop it onto the board there? Pop it onto the board. Now, we want to use wholemeal because we just want to, where we can, try to add a little bit more nutrition to things when possible. So it's a great way, just doing this one, just to do it. Now, we don't need a rolling pin with a scone. So I'm going to get you to take over because you've got a, bit, a little bit cleaner hands <laughs> than myself there. What we want to do is we want to make sure that our scones nicely puff up, OK? So we have a cutter. Now, I want you to just cut pretty much... If you can get the thickness of the cutter, that's absolutely perfect. That's what we really want. Looking for that? That's great. That's okay. superb. So you want about two to three centimetres there. Now, don't worry if you run out of um, dough. All you do, squeeze it back together again. It's really the simplest thing. You can see why they give us these kids to do it. Oh, I like it. The idea is to just not work it too hard. To don't hold work it, it too hard. There that's it. Don't work too hard. I'll and remember you said that. <laughs> So we do together. plop it just on there. Now you can as well put cheddar cheese on the top, but if it's your first go, um, it might weigh it down a little bit. But once you start perfecting this, this won't be the best one because it's probably going to be worked too much. But it'll get, uh, get the, you'll use up every single bit of dough. That'll be fine. That'll probably be the one that I prefer. There we go. Pop That's that on it. There. There Lovely. So I'll just bring the tray up here. Now just to finish it off, I've just got a little egg wash here nice. or milk wash. You can put on the top we there. Brush a bit of cream on there as well. Right. There we go. A little bit of cream, nice. not quite yet. So what I've got is the oven on 180 and I just want you to keep your eye on your beautiful scones. So about 15 to 20 minutes this one's going to need and into the oven they go. Good. 
smell that cheddar. Coming you do the through. talking. I'm just going to rip straight into it. It looks great. So you have a go at that one, and what I will do is I will just have a go ensemble at it. it the way that we would do <laughs> in the Great Cornwall. <laughs> so, yeah. so a little bit of cheddar cheese there as well. Put some butter oh, and relish on it. There we go. Branston pickle. That's not relish. That's is Branston it? pickle. Is it? Adrian, please know your pickles. You've got oh. to know your Branston pickle, that beautiful sour pickle that all us Brits, us pommies, <laughs> adore. Go. That's it. Get it on there. Oh, that's quite a lot. Oh, you it's obviously don't eat it often. <laughs> it's really nice. I love the wholemeal aspect of it. It really gives it a bit of texture. Yep. They're really nice and light and fluffy scones. No matter mm. where you come from, I would have to say they're great scones. Mm. I prefer sweet ones, but if you like the savoury ones, this is a fantastic one. The cheese is just nice and subtle all the way through it. This is a great scone. I love it. I am just in my happy place and I feel a little bit at home, which is a really nice feeling.